What's going on guys? Back with another video. I was actually recording and I spoke a lot. So what I'm going to do is try and put some of the footage that I've just done for the last 24 minutes into the beginning of this. And we're going to keep shooting because we're not going to let stupid technology stop us from doing what we need to do. So what did I do? I started with this guitar effect sample. Try to find the right pitch that I wanted and try to find what key it was in in the first place. All of this should be happening next to me right now, over here somewhere. And then I just put in a kick and a snare. So it was off to a good start and my camera died, so I'm just going to restart the clock if I'm honest with you. So this is what we had. So from that I kind of want a melody and some more drums. Um, Let's do that. I'm not even sure how much swing this needs. That was cold, we're adding that. Good accidents. But I just want this. So for me, it's about finding the right sounds to use as rhythm and groove. It doesn't always have to be a drum sound or a percussion sound, but it needs to provide what those instruments would provide. So it sounds more American now already, you can tell. I don't know what it is about what they do, but it's like, turn up that snare, because that snare needs to slap off someone's face. What else we got? I'm going to use that as an open hi-hat, but like once or twice. Let me just find the pocket. Cool. I'm gonna use it, but not now, later. We had something else, didn't we? That's gonna be nice for the chorus, and I think that's gonna be it for the drums. This wise, pitch like. I might wanna do that. Can we do that? Let's move on, bloody hell. And we'll make this chorus pattern over here. I'm weird, I don't like to make each part over the full drum pattern. I don't know why it gets in my nerves. Because there's so many drums. I like space to work in. I want the melody before I want the bass. Tricky. Might be too dark. What are we saying? One hand. And then to be fair, I might not even use the whole sample like that. I might chop it. Prefer that note. Eh, it's alright. Mute it. I'm gonna do a chopped version. All right, something like this. I don't know. I'm gonna do the bass last because you can hear the pocket where the 808 should be already. So um, I have no idea what sound to use for the melody. That's not bad, you know. Is there vibrato on that? Already. That's pretty cool. Nine minutes, good lord.
what did that do? And then just put a bass underneath that. Next. I might just have that for later. I like the sound. Ah, oh, let's quickly try this. Couldn't get the right notes. My keyboard is too small, so. It's weird. I'm kind of making the beat in context to the other sounds, but I tend to mute the other sounds a lot if they're not exactly what I want. I'm not layering on top of something I might not even keep, if that makes sense. It's weird. Um, melody. I'm gonna play a keyboard and jam out till I get the right melody. Come on, come on. I don't know if those are the notes. do it yeah man that's it I'm gonna try and arrange this maybe add some other melody if not but I'm shutting off the cameras <laughs> too many technical difficulties but if it turns out you see a performance of this track then you know that I did something and we salvaged it in the end one o'clock I'm done I hope you liked it comment in the comment section below you let me know what you thought of this one if you think it has the potential to be something crazy i think it does i just have to make sure like things aren't crashing around me if you like this kind of content subscribe because i'm looking to do at least 52 episodes this year and this is only episode three so i've got a lot more beats to make a lot more performances and there's a lot more chances for you to learn a few new things for your own productions i'll see you in the next video later